Hello everyone, today I'm making a quick video on visual mnemonics in Aki. There's a lot of evidence base for visual mnemonics and I'll put some of those journal articles below. Uh, I'm going to give you a few examples today of some of the methods that I use to make visual mnemonics. I find that instead of having to remember specific words or phrases, it's a lot easier for me to just have a quick mental image. I don't really have to go through any list of mnemonics or anything like that. Um, it just especially when you're going through a lot of reviews in a day, I feel like it really saves you some mental energy. Um, and it's just a really good and easy way to remember things. So I have a few examples here. So the first card is a closed deletion card. It says blank is the 36, 35th president of the US. And that's JFK. And then, um, so this may or may, you may or may not know this, but for me, I, I don't really know my U.S. history very well, which is kind of embarrassing, but a, qu a quick and easy way for me to make a mnemonic for this card, a visual mnemonic, would be something like this. You could write J F K 35. So this might seem silly, um, but I think for me, writing out something, uh, it really crystallizes it in my mind, and you might be doubting me right now, and that's fine, but you should give it a try. Okay, so we'll screen grab that, and we'll just copy it in here to the extra part. Okay, and when we do this card again, you'll see that we have this JFK 35, and it's really the two most important pieces of information on this card. And again, it might seem silly just to write it out and have it there, but I feel like it, for some reason or another, maybe it's the nuances of how you wrote it or something, it really sticks in your head. Okay, so again, 35th, so hopefully I remember that now. Okay, so here's another one. I'm a medical student, so this is more medical related, but you don't have to really know anything at all to understand the mnemonic we're doing here. So dengue fever is also called blank, and the, the so it's also called breakbone fever. So here's how I'd make a mnemonic for that. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to draw something that I hope looks like a den for the den and dengue. I don't know. I don't really know what a den looks like. Maybe we can look, make it look like a cave. I'm, I'm a terrible artist, and we'll put, like, a rock out here with some grass. I don't know. Okay. And inside, I'm going to put a broken bone, because it's called break bone fever. Wow, this is... Okay. I'll, I'll try to do better than that. Okay, so here's half my broken bone the other one. Okay, so not great, but a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to copy that and put it into the card here. So next time I, I come across the card, I'll have this visual mnemonic in my head, and hopefully I'll associate that den with the bone. Okay, and lastly, this one's a little bit more medically, but uh, the point still holds. So marginal lymphoma is caused by a 11 to 18 translocation. So what that means doesn't really matter, but I just need to associate the, the numbers 11 and 18 with this marginal lymphoma. So a way that I can do that is um, I'm going to look up paper margins. I'm getting a little creative here. Um, okay, so maybe I'll use this image here. We'll drop this into paint. And in the margins, I'm going to write 11 and 18. Okay. And we'll copy this. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Just make them quick and put it in our card here. And now hopefully next time I'll, I'll remember that um, 11 and 18 are associated with the marginal lymphoma. Okay. So that's really it. Those are just a few creative ways that I've found to make visual mnemonics and just some ideas for you. You can really get a creative as you want. Um, again, there's going to be some journal articles linked in the bottom. Uh, if you like the video, like it and subscribe. And thanks for watching.